Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to share a few things. I want to talk about uh, FF MPEG. Now, in case you are following my videos and uh, in case you have uh, watched my videos that I have been making in the past uh, few couple of weeks, I'm sure you know, you, you must have noticed that I have talked about FF MPEG quite a lot. And uh, the reason I have started using FFmpeg is because uh, I was looking for something much simpler. Although I was using OBS and OBS is wonderful, it is great. But uh, I was not really able to get the most out of uh, this 10 year old ThinkPad X220 using OBS, especially the recording of videos. Although I'm, I'm not really into highest quality 4k video videos that I make but I was looking for something really fast with decent quality and I was looking for configuring things the way I wanted and after playing with with FFmpeg I think I have set up a very nice system it is nothing but a couple of shell scripts for doing recording and streaming so Right now, if you look at this particular video, there are a few things happening. There is uh, my video that you can see. I can, I'm, uh, th that, is, that is, of course, one good thing. I'm also sharing my desktop. So in case I, in case I have to show, let us say, a script, I can. And uh, apart from the desktop, the webcam, and the mic, I am also recording my computer's sound output so let us say if uh, i want to show you for example if i'm uh, listening to music or it could be a youtube video i can actually show you this um, by playing a video which uh, which is uh, i believe right now playing in the background let me turn up the volume slightly So this uh, song that you are listening to is also getting recorded. So in this setup, in my setup of uh, FFmpeg, I have multiple inputs and they're all uh, controlled nicely uh, by nothing but a shell script. So the shell script that I have written is, uh, is really nice and wonderful. I have shared this by the way in the past. I have talked about this, uh, how I am making this video which is right now recording but if I want I can also stream using the same script by just changing one line I'm still making this script really perfect for me like I can of course run it uh, without uh, changing too many things but right now if I have to run the script and if I have to let us say record a video like this I need to simply do screen recording and if i pass in the argument the second argument or the first argument mp4 it will create one mp4 file but if i don't provide the argument uh, this will do the streaming so i'm in a process to make this uh, script a bit more user friendly and then of course i will share it but i wanted to share one interesting thing here which i didn't really mention earlier in the previous video of this ffmpeg series now i really wanted to mix the sound coming out coming out of this uh, laptop that i'm playing in the background so i have this so i have this uh, song playing which is uh, you know lo-fi no copyright song which i took from the youtube library so that i can play it now this uh this input is of course my desktop input and if you if you have watched my previous video i recommend you you, you first watch that video in case you want to do something similar using ffmpeg nothing but FF, ffmpeg and of course a shell script all i'm doing is i am of course taking multiple inputs and i am of course using uh, filters now if you want to capture the audio what you need to do you need to use uh, uh, this line here i mean basically i'm using a variable basically so with this line hyphen f pulse i am uh, 
also trying this one more input now if you have little bit of experience using ffmpeg you have to of course specify the uh, the format so right now in this particular case the format is the pulse and that is how it works if you want to capture the audio from your computer then of course the uh, hyphen ac is uh, for the audio channel then this thread queue size which i was playing with and i have to specify this thread queue size for each and for each and every input and for me 8192 really works and then of course input so this input is right now my alsa input dot pci hyphen blah 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 something something and if you have to figure out this you can actually type in one command called uh, pactl and uh, list sources if you type in this command let me just uh, ls this my keyboard is a bit messed up right now I need, I need to restart my computer but if you look at the output here uh, for my source one i mean not pretty source one, one i mean not not this is not the number that you need to use in the script but for my audio out output the songs that i'm playing or maybe if, if i'm watching a youtube video the device name that you need to use is this one in your script and uh, i recommend of course using a variable like desktop audio so you can uh, easily manage it and change it if needed and uh, if you look at the script here the let, let us talk about the input the first input is of course my desktop my x11 gra uh, grab and i talked about uh, you know how to make sure you are on the right monitor with the size in the in the previous video then my second input is my mic which is hw1 and you can figure out your uh, devices if you type in uh, a record hyphen l so right now i'm using card number one i need to make this script a bit more dynamic so that uh, based on this name of the mic it will it will automatically pick the correct card number and uh, then of course my webcam and uh, then finally the audio from the desktop so this is something that i have been using and i'm really happy with the setup i think it really works um, nicely and and that is what i wanted to show you and talk about in this video and uh, and that is it that is all i wanted to share i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much And uh, once again, thank you to Bugs Writer. I think uh, he is now my one of my favorite uh, YouTuber. I was following his uh, live stream yesterday, and he shared this uh, utility called uh, Figlet for displaying uh, the. I mean, if you remember, uh, you know the old uh, Linux guys. There used to be one utility called Banner. I, I believe it is still there, but of course you need to install it if you're on Arch because Arch is like you don't really get most of the utilities. You have to install them which is good because you only install utilities that you really need for example even the w get was not there which is strange but anyways and uh, apart from figlet you can also install something called as lol cat which is uh, to display uh, the text or anything basically in uh, rainbow colors which i really enjoy and uh, and as the as i am trying to display here Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Bye-bye.